How there's a lot. Of, did, did I sort that out correctly? What you broke the news? Is that right? Yeah. The key players in this: Robert Covington from Minnesota to Houston. That's the big wing player they wanted. Atlanta gets the center, Clint Capella. They've been on the market for. And then Denver moves out Malik Beasley and uh, Hernan Gomez. They go to Minnesota in this deal. Okay. Minnesota gets Atlanta's first-round pick via the Brooklyn Nets. So they'll have now another first-round pick coming in this draft. You know, all this culminating tonight, this four-team deal, uh, when talks between Minnesota and Golden State that would have added to that three-team deal, a fourth team, it would have been... Um, D'Angelo Russell, Andrew Wiggins, those talks fell apart, and then Minnesota pivoted, got Denver involved, and they just got the deal done now. So if I hear you correctly, and again, there's a lot of moving pieces here, the key thing that for Minnesota, they were hoping to get at least a first, they got it, and D'Angelo Russell, who was thought to perhaps be on the market, does this mean that he's staying put, or does it just mean Minnesota's out as, as far as a trade partner? Well, Minnesota's out as a trade partner okay. right now for him. We got the deadline is Thursday at 3 p.m. Uh -huh. You know, New York has been a team that's had some interest in D'Angelo Russell. We'll get to that in a minute. I don't know if New York's in a position right now to pull off that kind of a deal. The Warriors know, listen, they can take uh, Russell into the offseason, take a look at the draft in July if they want to move him on. Uh, you're going to see Golden State now try to move some contracts off and get out, kind of lower their luxury tax bill. He said uh, today he's comfortable being uncomfortable. So, I mean, he's obviously it's a lot of speculation about where he'll end up. You broke today that Steve Mills is out in New York. And um, you reported James Dolan would like to make a run at Maasai with, with, with Toronto. Um, I just want to know why I don't, I, wouldn't, I, don't, I don't understand why anyone would want to go there, given Dolan's uh, history with the Knicks. But is this something that people in that position would covet, a job they'd want? Well, he has coveted Masai Ujiri for years. But there are roadblocks in the way that are going to make that pursuit very difficult. He's under contract. The Knicks don't want to give up compensation. And I don't think they want to wait till the season's over right now. But the Knicks' job, despite everything that has happened there over the last couple of years, it remains, there is a romanticism still among league executives who still believe if you go to New York, if you build it right, free agents will still flock there. It is still Madison Square Garden. And if you are the one who delivers a winner to New York, I mean, never mind win a championship. If you could put a perennial playoff team on the court, you'll be the king of the city. There is no shortage of the very, very best executives in the NBA who want to crack at that Knicks job. The question's going to be, Scott, <laughs> James Dolan has not pursued any of these guys when this job is open. He has never gone out in the market and said, who's the best executive in the league? Can I get him? He has not done that over the last several times it's been open. And I've been smiling like an idiot at you the whole time you're talking just because I'm thinking, look, in the offseason, hey, you're going to get Durant. And then, they, yeah, he went to New York and he went to Brooklyn. I just, I, I, they don't win playoff games, man. Like, I just don't. The Knicks, we talk more about the Knicks than any team that is lousy than any team that's lousy. That's but, a fact. But executives know if you can put the infrastructure in place and build an organization the way Sean Marks did in Brooklyn, okay. the way Lawrence Frank and Mike Winger did with the Clippers, in these markets, you are going to get elite players. New York has not been able to build, Scott, that foundation that a star player comes in and says, plug me in, and, and we have a contender. They're not coming into essentially what's okay. an empty house. Okay. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.